This might be the most ambitious Demon Slayer game on Roblox. This closed community experience wants to have comparable or even higher quality to the biggest anime games on Roblox, all while maintaining an extremely immersive and community based experience. But can a non-profit passion project like this really live up to the hype? Well, Wave 1 is about to drop and hundreds of people have already applied. I had the opportunity to get in early and check it out. This is humanity's fate, and this is my first impressions. Now, jumping right into it, I didn't know what to expect. The devs of this game had another previous CC by the same name, which some of you might remember I made a video on. But I was told that this game is completely different. But quick side note, this game has custom lore. And as you can see, due to my infamous reputation in the last game, I was actually given an official family name in this CC. Now it comes with a lot of various buffs, but I'll get to that later. That said, if you want a chance of getting accepted into the game and joining my clan, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and leave a comment on why you want to join and you might get picked. But now we had to customize. There's a lot of different options and of course there's items locked behind factions and ranks and stuff like that. But some of you might remember that in the last game I actually won a tournament for a custom Hayori and that actually transferred into this game and it in fact looks a lot better. So we get to start off drippy as hell and no way we don't become a main character now. But at this point, I didn't really know what to do. I was told that this game's map was huge and you'll kind of just figure things out. So just by adventuring, that's what I tried to do. Now unfortunately, I'm more directionally challenged than Zoro, so this took a while. But I eventually found a village. There were a few NPCs here, some gave me hints of potential tasks to do nearby, while at this one I was able to buy weapons. Overall, this location was one to make note of. Once I was done here, I started traveling down a path that led me to a place called the Omichi region. Eventually, I happened upon a man in the most horrendously bedazzled drip I had ever seen. No way he saw his character and said, yeah man, this shit is hard. But eventually, I said hi to him, and he responded by telling me to run. I was a bit confused, until out of nowhere a balding fatherless menace appears and begins swinging on me. He was using flame breathing and other things I hadn't even seen in the game before, and I didn't even know the combat at this point. But during this fight, I realized that they changed it to the basic M1 string combat with perfect blocking as opposed to straight parry combat. It was pretty fun and I felt I was getting the hang of it, but of course his breathing abilities were just far too strong for me at the moment and I was swiftly put down. But his band of buddies come to my knocked body as I crawl away and pose in front of me like I'm a freshly hunted carcass. This is the villain origin story. But then, this random woman in an act of kindness decides to revive me and I get to live another day. Now I decide to stick with this person and I meet their group and they show me the ins and outs of the game. Remember, this is a fully community based game and they warn me about the permadeath events and the spec users and they show me the important mechanics. For example, there's crows which you can send people important messages with amongst other things. They also tell me about how the game has skill trees so everyone will have different builds and I was told that you can run a speed demon build by maxing your dashes. So that's what I did here. Each dash of mine was literally a teleport, but it was highly impractical considering I didn't have points in anything else. Regardless, I still decided to 1v1 to test it out. At first, while he was just going easy on me, my superior speed was devastating and he allowed me to get some hits in, but once he started using breathings and perfect blocking me every time, needless to say, I didn't last long after that. And it was definitely time to try something else. But in PvP, it also gives you XP, so he let me grip him, which leveled me up so I could spec into other things that I wanted to. Now he showed me that certain abilities have extremely intricate methods of obtaining them. For example, this rare sound breathing ability, Musical Score, essentially just made you into an auto dodge demon who auto dodged and parried everything and it looked cool as hell. Now I'd seen what power is, now I knew what I wanted to grind for. 
We begin traveling the land again and eventually we happen upon an estate which was actually owned by one of the official player families in game. It's a really cool system because if your family gains enough renown and money, you can actually own an estate in game. Just gotta love immersive systems like that. Now the Awayamura family trap house is coming soon. We will be selling crack, cocaine, methamphetamine. We start heading towards the Wisteria Forest. Now we all know what goes down here. It was dark so I was given a lantern and you actually need a lantern to read certain signs and stuff in game. As in you literally can't read text without it. But I made note of where this was because I assumed that once players form the Slayer Corpse, that's where the final selection will take place. And I mean form literally because everything is player based in this game. We come up to the Slayer HQ and it's relatively desolate. And that's because as this game just started, the corpse isn't really in full swing. It's cool that everyone has a chance to actually become a Hashira and other notable roles. And HRs aren't just free ranked or something. I think that just adds another layer to fun to a CC game like this. Then eventually I'm taken to this train station where I get to see this system. Now because the map is so big, there's multiple modes of transport, one of them being trains of course. Now surely nothing will go wrong aboard here. But still a cool system. You can actually drive the train. Players can do that. And they can do small things like, you know, control the interior lights and stuff. And that just adds another bit of immersion. But you even got to actually buy tickets as well. Now, eventually, I was about to learn the proper combat. This should have happened a lot earlier. So basically, everyone starts off with something called sword martial arts before they get a breathing. And you can upgrade that to get more moves. I was also shown in the brutal first-hand experience that, yeah, abilities are kinda busted. See, you can literally take people's arms off, I mean sever their limbs with these things. And I was also shown that some abilities will auto-grip you and send you straight to Odin, right to Valhalla. But in PD events, there are still the opportunities to save yourself. Some abilities, of course, will sever your limbs as I said, and you can even get knocked by other things, but a teammate can still use these med kits to heal you. Now it does take a while, so you know, it'll be tough to pull this off in battle, but it's definitely going to be pretty clutch, and I like that system. Of course, after exploring more and talking to a few NPCs, we come across a town, which is pretty cool because you can buy horses at this town. And besides being a dope way to travel and get around more officially, you know I had to try it. There's mounted combat. Wait, can I? Yo, you can fight people on this, dude. This is, I'm gonna be, yo, <laughs> so what are you doing? No, 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 this is how, this is combat. This is how we'll be fighting demons. <laughs> this is jokes. So <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. Oh, wait, is this, I think like the key to use that move is the same. What the fuck? Yo, he's carjacking me. Oh shit. Oh, the horse's legs. Guys, we, we, we've come across something that that I, I, I'm not liking. I'm gonna turn my lantern on, but this is a, uh, Something tells me I'm not gonna have a good time. I'm not gonna have a good time with this. Oh my god! Okay, 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 here we go, here we go. This, 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 this is... How must it feel knowing it's your final moments on Earth facing me? What is going on? Okay. Okay, here we go. Holy shit! Yo, okay, that is so cool though, the VFX. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna put my thing back on. I'm one, I'm one, I'm one, I'm one. Okay, I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. I, I, I still can't move. I can't move at all. I just can't move. This is actually busted. What? What? What is this? Dude, wh wh where the Hashira at? Wh where's uh? He's got them Sonami when you need him. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and hit this move. Okay. N never mind. It's futile. It's all futile. Dude, this is a boss raid. The, the, where's there? There was a bunch of people. I I, I think th this is like the equivalent of when you accidentally fight the final boss when you're like level one. This is uh, this is not supposed to happen. Oh god, they're, they're actually dead now, okay. I don't know, oh my god, he decapitated them. Oh, it's, oh god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh, it's all over for me. Is, is there wiping? What the, pathetic? Oh no, this, this is, this, oh, uh, this, this is just the beginning. Oh, this, this, this is just the beginning. But alas, we aren't quite at the level of taking on the spec user in PvP. However, 
that does mean that we get to continue this story because this is just the beginning there's a lot more to do in this game and i'm sure that when it fully drops there's going to be some crazy moments in the lore so definitely be sure to subscribe for that if you want to see it and of course i'm definitely willing to make this a full multi-part series depending on what you guys want to see now that said link to the game in the description remember to subscribe if you want a chance of actually winning access to the game and definitely go ahead join the game's link in the description if you want to apply to this CC. Thank you guys for making it this far in the video. I'll see you all in the next one. I can persevere, go forward on my own. There's a bright and shining through